heaven once once more and again we come before thy throne of grace and mercy just say thank you just say thank you father for your goodness and your grace for your grace and your mercy washed over us all night last night as we lay in the very image of death but early this morning you woke us to a brand new day for that we say thank you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Lord. Amen. 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 Let's give God a great hand of praise. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord, yeah. who was on our side, yeah. where would we be? Yeah. We'd be in a a lot of trouble and tribulation. We thank God for you today. It is a beautiful day today. In spite of the forecast, well, it's just supposed to be terrible. But it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Have your Bibles with you. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Acts, the third chapter of the book of Acts. God bless our children. Amen. 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 Once again, they did another marvelous job. Amen. Amen. They they getting better and better. Amen. 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 Those who would feel like they were ashamed uh, they are getting stronger Amen. ain't God alright are you there Amen. Acts chapter 3 start with verse 1 now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple well. asked alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John said look on us. And he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Amen. Thus is the reading of God, holy and divine word of God. May that be a blessing upon the readers and hearers especially the doers of his godly word. Amen. Amen. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And walk. I want to talk today about crippled Christians. Crippled Christian. The term lame is an offensive term 
meaning walking unevenly because of a leg injury or motion impairment. It, it means to be inadequate, uh, unconvincing, unsatisfactory, ineffectual, or inept. I, I heard the term used on uh, the Three Stooges when they said they called Curry that believe was lame brain. Y'all gonna pray with me? Amen. I mean, it always seems to carry a negative connotation. Yeah. I mean, people are always looked down on and made fun of because of this condition. Uh, when he was born, he never learned how to walk. He was lame. Yeah. He, he may have been dropped when he was a baby boy. Y'all remember the ship effects? Yeah. 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 All I'm trying to tell you is that he was crippled. Well, yeah. well, well. And, and to be crippled is to have a condition that impedes your life yeah. in a manner that prevents you from functioning in what society has classified as normal. All right. yeah, yeah. They call you out normal. They, they say there's something wrong with that boy. That that girl must be dropped on her head. These these crippling conditions may be visible or invisible. Amen. It may be that some folk look normal, right. but they're crippled. Yeah. Amen. Because you wonder why folk do the things that they do. You wonder why folk disrespect their parents and disrespect their husband and wives, and you wonder, uh, are they all right? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, it, it, they, they may be physical, psychological, or spiritual. All right. Yeah, the, the one who is crippled is often held down and they are held back because of their mentality. They, they cannot do what normal people do. Y'all yeah. gonna pray with me? Right. Hear them say the elevators don't go all the way up. All right. They can't do the uh, the things that you do. Uh -huh. uh, they, they're crippled yeah. and they can't walk. Uh, the ones who are crippled find themselves the victims of discrimination. Yeah. All right. All right. They always find their lives to be humiliated. And, and often find themselves segregated right, from yeah. everybody else. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how many times, if we be honest with ourselves, uh, have made fun of someone who was crippled right. or, or was handicapped? Yep. Yeah, you're right about it. Mm. Well, maybe not now, but I know when you growing up, you did some strange things. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, you, you, you know, we, we, we would. We would we would, we would do things and think like a person can't walk, we'll, we'll, we'll say they done. Or we'll say some stupid stuff, stuff like that. It, it's like they, 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 they don't have any intelligence because they are crippled. Well, my brothers and sisters, don't, don't, don't be alarmed at, at, at what I'm about to tell you, but, but many of us in the church today are held down and held back as a result of our crippling condition. In our lives, uh, you know, a bad disposition, a low self-esteem, no self-esteem, and unforgiving spirit, right. harboring hatred in our hearts. Well, yeah, yeah. These, these uh, crippling conditions impede our lives in a manner that prevents us, as church folk, from functioning as we should. Right. Yeah. It prevents us from. Um, Worshiping and praising God as we ought to be worshiping and praising God. Amen. Amen. Because we've been crippled. All right. Amen. And we're not all going to have arrived. I understand that. Amen. But these conditions, well, conditions of disrespect, well, that's a crippling condition. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah, missed that, didn't you? When it's your turn to do something, you want everybody to be quiet and listen. Well, well, well. 
But when you sitting down, your mind goes somewhere else. You just run your mouth. Yeah. Right. Help us, Lord. Help us. Amen. We can't function the way we ought to function. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah th th that's why I can say today that there are crippled folk in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The text reveals that Peter and John went to the temple about 3 o'clock which was designated as one of the hours of prayer. Yeah. And when they encountered a man that had a crippling condition, the man lay at the gate called Beautiful, yeah. which was one of the busiest entrance into the church. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're on their way to church All right. for prayer. Yeah. All right. that, that was the main reason why they were going was to go to prayer. Yeah, yeah, on this busy Sunday. Now, let, let me say that many church folk who have a identity crisis will often position themselves in a place to be seen by others. Yeah. Right. Look at me, and, and, and here I am over here, and, and I'm in this prominent position. Look on, look on me. Well, this man had a prominent position in front of the busiest interests into the church. All, right. all because he wanted to be noticed. Yeah. All, right. yeah, all because if he get noticed enough, somebody might drop something in his pocket. All right. All right. That's why he came there every day. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Let, let me move on my first point because I'm almost through, but I want to move on to this first point because I, I want to understand this man's condition and his condition may be related to your condition. All right, now. All right. Listen, first of all, the crippled are not able to stand on their own two feet. All right. All right. I'm quite sure if he was able to stand on his own two feet, he'd probably been hopping and skipping into the temple. Every day of prayer as well. But he was unable to stand on his own two feet. Yes. What you say, bro? Well, we ought to be careful when we use these terms. Like I heard these terms used before. Uh, uh, I pulled myself up by my own bootstraps. Well. You ought to be able to walk on your own two feet. Because the truth be told, there are cripples who are not able to stand on their own two feet. All right. All right. All right. That, that's just a condition. Amen. Amen. We, we got to realize, looking from our eyes, and say, just because I, you ought to. No, that's not necessarily so. Amen. Yeah, now, now, when we investigate this text, the man's condition is clear. Uh -huh. Brother Howard, he, he's lame. He, he's crippled. He, he's, he's handicapped. His legs don't work. His legs appear to be there, but just useless limbs. Stretched out on the blanket in front of him. They were attached to him, but he, need, he never felt them. Your, your, your man that you carry around, John, he, he, he needs help. Well. That's his condition. Yeah. Cripple are not able to always stand on their own two feet. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm glad Peter and John didn't have that same attitude Amen. when they saw this man. Yeah. I mean, he never moved him. He, he never ran as a boy nor had, a, had, had, had walked as a man. Simply put, it was just because he was lame. Yeah, he could not stand on his own two feet. And I, I discovered that even in the church, we have some who are spiritual cripples. And their lameness will lead them to living with low expectations. Can I say it again? Lameness will lead to low expectations. Yeah, yeah. It's a lameness when you don't believe God can do. Every time that we want to do something, somebody says, well, that, that can't be done. Right. That's lameness. Yeah. yeah, it's a little church. We can't, we, we can't feed the hungry. We're too small. That, that's, that's lameness. All right. All right. All 
Because I serve a God that can do anything in spite of my lameness. Maybe not physically crippled, but they are spiritually crippled. They, they, they look down, uh, but, but there's a good possibility that you are sitting next to somebody who is spiritually crippled. No, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. All right, all right. Crippled. Yeah, they're, they're not able to stand on their own. Pray for them. Amen. Amen. Don't talk about them, pray for them. Amen. Peter and John didn't talk about the man. They didn't talk about he had everything. They didn't talk about the man. They gave him something. Well, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. That he needs. Because crippled folk can always stand. Amen. Right. Y'all got that point? Amen. They, they can always stand on two feet. Amen. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't expect them to be able to manage their finances. Amen. Because they're crippled. Amen. They got low expectations. Yeah. Because they're crippled. Yeah. Because you told them they're crippled. Well, if you ain't as successful as me, that must be something wrong. Yeah. Maybe so. They're crippled. Right. So, second point is, it, it has always been this way. This was not just a bad day. He was born this way. Yeah. And because he was born this way, and as far as he knew, had always been this way, that it was normal. Not only cripple, can't stand their own, but they take everything as being normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The church today, as we try to often say, it ain't growing. Some folks take that as normal. It's always been that way. That's where it is. That's where it's going to be. We're going to accept it just like that. No. That ain't so. Y'all get off quiet on me. Watch this, watch this. Begging for him was normal. Yeah. That was an everyday process. Yeah. Being pitied for him was normal. Yeah. I mean, being helpless and ignored was normal. Yeah. In other words, he had gotten so used to this way of life. Yeah. I mean, this was just his life. Yeah. This was just what it was for him. To get up early in the morning, call his friends, pack him up, and take him to the church. Right. That, that, that was a normal process, Monday through Sunday. Yeah, right. I mean, he was used to living with low expectations. Well, He didn't know if he was going to get anything that day or not, but he was still out there big. Amen. Now, in the church today, we, we get so used to things. Being the way they are, huh? Y'all can pray with me? Well, I'm right about it. Amen. We just set on our hands and feet and let our conditions take control of our life. Amen. We, we, we just been conditioned. We just been, we just been so laxed yeah. in our worship. That's always been that way. So accept the fact it always been that way. It ain't never been nobody shouting in the church. It's always been like that. So since it's always been like that, nobody ever shouted in the church, I ain't going to shout today. Yeah. Well, well, well. Y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. Because it's always been that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, 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 this is normal. Yeah. yeah, this is normal. But I start by telling you it's not normal. All right. yeah. And it's going to be in the text. I'm going to show you where it's not, not normal. Although he sat there every day, they accepted it as being normal. But when something happened in his life, for the first time, he leaped. And praise God. Y'all going to pray with me? Y'all going to pray? How, how, oh, how I wish the church would just pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. It seemed normal hmm. to just sit there and just let our conditions take control of our life because it's normal. It's always been that way. 
there's no point in me trying to change it now because that's the way it is. Yeah, all right. That's the way it ought to be. Yeah. Let me go. Let me do my final point here. The third, third point is uh, you don't have to stay all right. in the shape that you're in. All right. All right. Yeah. Today is a new day. You don't have to remain the same. You have to keep coming to the church Sunday after Sunday with no change. Amen. You don't have to remain destitute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was brought to the church every day, but never got any better. How long have you been coming to the church and have not gotten? Any better? Help. Help. How long have you been waiting mm. on your change to come? Yeah. All right. All right. Am I right about it? Yeah. I start by here to tell you that when God uh, comes through in your life, uh, uh -huh. there will uh, be some change. Right. Change. Uh, is often uh, resisted yes. in the church. Yeah. Uh, if I could sum the church up, uh, I say the church purpose uh, is to be with one word, uh, it's change. Yeah. When you come into the church, uh, there ought to be uh, some change. Yeah. We must change uh, our lives uh, and be transformed uh, into Christ's uh, yeah. image. Uh, Y'all, am I right about it? Uh, Peter uh, and John uh, and the other disciples uh, have been changed uh, with the arrival uh, of the Holy, Holy Spirit uh, and have been transformed uh, into a new person uh, to transform uh, somebody else. Uh, this life uh, is just a journey uh, of change. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, Peter and John uh, was on their way uh, to the temple. Uh, I see this man, uh, this lame man, uh, laid out uh, in front of uh, the temple. Uh, they looked at him uh, and said, look on us. Uh, they looked at him uh, said, look on us. Uh, this man looked at them, uh, hoping uh, that he was going to get uh, a few dollars, uh, but what he got uh, was a change. Peter said, silver and gold uh, have I none, uh, but such that I have, uh, I give I need. Uh, grab the man uh, by the hand, uh, lift him up, uh, the Holy Ghost uh, must have been running uh, through Peter's hand, uh, because one off, uh, and this old man had, uh, he jumped up, uh, started screaming, uh, and leaving, uh, and going uh, into the church house. Uh, yeah. If you got to have change, uh, if you want God to use you, uh, you got to have some change uh, yeah. in your life, uh, yourself. Uh, yeah. The things uh, you used to say, uh, you don't say them anymore. Uh, yeah. The things uh, you used to do, uh, you don't do them anymore. Uh, yeah. The hate uh, you have in your heart, uh, don't have no hate no more. Uh, Somebody else, uh, don't try to change nobody. Uh, if you ain't been changed, uh, if your life ain't right, uh, don't care nobody else to get that life right. Uh, when you got your life right, uh, you can change uh, somebody else. Uh, Peter uh, and John uh, on their way uh, to church uh, and count this man uh, right in front of church. Uh, some of us are uh, on our way to church. Uh, Passed by folk uh, who's down and out, uh, don't have a word for them uh, because you said no going to ask you uh, for a dollar uh, or two. Uh, for silver and gold, uh, have you done uh, ever? For something you have, uh, give to them, uh, give to them uh, a word from on high. Uh, and it's alright, uh, and see a change uh, come in their life. Uh, and it's alright, uh, and it's alright. Uh, Says, 
silver and gold have I none of such that I have give I thee that's what crippled folk need not silver not gold but a chain and change come from the Holy Spirit give them a word from God that's what they need silver run out yes Gold will run out. Yes. But the word of God yes. will live yes. forever. Yes. Not just forever, but forever and ever. Eternity. Yes. Those are church over. You may come out to count every baptism.